Well, I never yes. thought I would be chatting to Melanie C in my living room. I feel like you're coming round for tea. I know, yeah, get the kettle on. <laughs> this is the new norm for you now, isn't it? <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, we've all had to get used to life being a little bit bonkers. I found lockdown really hard, having the kids at home, trying to homeschool, everything we've all been dealing with. So to have new music out there really helped get me through. I go in the night of love, never get enough, I keep going in the night of love. I started making this record beginning of 2019, before I went on the road with the Spice Girls. And I wanted to make something really upbeat, something really dancey. And then of course it's come out at a time when none of us can go out and blow in dance. You, think you, know me all this time. you know which which single I love on the album, Who I Am? And the video to that, it's a real nod to Sporty Spice. I feel really emotional about that song it's a really important song it was the first single from the album and it was important to kind of set the tone because it's about self-acceptance it's about finally feeling comfortable in my own skin and i think that experience doing the stadium shows with the spice girls last year gave me this opportunity to reflect like lots of us i give myself a hard time all the time and i just thought you know what it's time to just chill out and celebrate, you know, everything I've done. Not only the good stuff, but the bad stuff that I've overcome as well. It's a hard industry, you know, it's hard to stay around and I've had so many great opportunities thanks to, you know, being a Spice Girl. Everybody loves the Spice Girls. Will we ever see you on stage again? I think you will, you know? I, well myself and Melanie are the ones who keep going on and on. More shows, more shows! And Victoria has talked about being interested in doing something. Emma and Joe would love to do something too, so I like to think you'll see more Spice Girl shows. I go in the night of love. Coming on tour next year, you're coming to Manchester yeah. on the 24th of May. Only so many Instagram lives you can do. I just, I want to get out to the people. I'm so excited to come back to Manchester. Girl from the northwest, so I'm coming home. My mum's back in Widnes, where I went to school, and all my mates are like there and around there. You're a mother now, obviously. I think Scarlett's about 11 years old, isn't she? Are you kind of going into grumpy teenager phase? Oh. Yes, things she said to me about this album which really made me chuckle. She said, Mum, sounds like chart music. And I was like, that, well, that's a good start. You're down with yeah, the kids, Melanie, totally. I love this. Yeah, yeah totally, yeah. <laughs> you can just feel a difference in you, I don't know. It just, it just feels like you're a lot more relaxed. I think I'm probably a bit more relaxed because I'm in your house. Yeah. I just come round, I feel like I'm there with you. <laughs> Do you want bangers and mash well, for your tea? Oh, sounds good. Yeah, need a bit of comfort food.